I mean, as a basketball player, it's what you work for your entire life. It's the greatest sporting event of the year. This is it. You know, from a competitive standpoint, this is it. There is nothing else. It's the NCAA tournament. To be able to play in it, uh, from my perspective, it's, it means everything too. I mean, all the time in the gym, all the tireless shots, all the work that you put in over the years, it all comes down to this. There is great high school basketball in the state of Iowa. Great coaching. The AU programs do a really good job with their guys. Uh, it's kind of funny because all the kids he grew up with playing are on uh, my team or, or on Iowa. So I played these guys. I played guys like Wes, Seth. I look at the high school kids now and you see um, a lot of younger kids going on to bigger schools or coming here for that matter. There's a bunch of talent here in Iowa and we've proven that time and time and again. And going through high school and stuff, you just hope that you get a chance to play at the highest level. We have been able to recruit some of the best players in our state to come and play for us. Of our 13 scholarships, you know, anywhere from five to eight of them have been in Iowa high school players all of the years that we have been here. The thing about you and I is the fact that we, we love guys that play for the program. Every single player has played for, for that name on his chest. You get some high character guys here from Iowa, uh, not too selfish, not too all focused on themselves, just willing to do whatever it takes to win. We want young guys that, that believe in working hard. We want young guys that are determined. We want young guys that are going to dream big. And then we've had guys go through, so it gets passed down. You know, our guys right now, they care about what the seniors thought last year. You know, Wes Washburn is a uh, stubborn, fiery competitor, and it works for him. Matt Bohannon is great in terms of communication. He's great in terms of detail. He knows exactly what we're supposed to do, and he, he sends that through our team. Paul Jesperson puts in an unbelievable amount of time. You know, it, it's getting passed down through our program. That's something that's been pretty special here and uh, why we've been so successful is because we don't have guys transferring and out very often. Look, our, our culture really matters, you know, it, and it really matters to our players. That to me is what, what makes the difference. Fifteen years now that I've been in Northern Iowa, my first five years I was our assistant coach. So ten years now as our head coach. This will be back-to-back -back years in the NCAA tournament. And some have told me, they've referred to our program as, if you want to take it in baseball terms, as a farm system. You know, you obviously have your seniors in place each year. I mean, they're the leaders of the team. You know, they put the most time in. They've been around the longest. But then that stuff is supposed to trickle down to the younger guys so that when the younger guys are seniors, all of a sudden they're ready to step into those same positions. I feel like, and our players feel like, that rebuilding isn't part of it anymore. We knew, me, Paul, and Wes did that this wasn't going to be a rebuilding year and we knew we were a good basketball team and uh, at the end of the year we knew we were going to do something special. You, know, you will be a leader and a good one for our program if you are who you are. We don't want you to be who you think you should be and that message we try to send to our guys all the time because they know as they get older into that junior and senior class that they have more responsibility. Really uh, shown that in that off season that me, Paul, and Wes are going to lead the charge and, and that's what you've seen over the course of the season is, is just three senior leaders that just want to keep playing basketball as long as they can and really make sure that the uh, University of Northern Iowa remembers our three names. Yeah, we went on a two-week stretch where uh, we just didn't win a game at all. We lost four or five in a row. Started off two and six in conference play. We shouldn't have been losing to those guys. We weren't playing up to how we should be playing. We were really spinning our tires, you know, trying to figure out how do we get back on track. And one of the hardest parts was we had already beaten North Carolina. And we had already beaten Iowa State. So we knew we had a really good basketball team. And me, Paul, and Wes just kind of sat down with each other and had a group text after one of those losses. And we were just like, we're not going to lose anymore. We're going to we're going to win and we're going to turn this thing around and we're going to get to the NCAA tournament. As seniors, you can start to see your season flash before your eyes. Had those three guys, man, had those three guys gone sideways, we would have never gotten out of it. Coach in the locker room after that Wichita game just said, guys, we got one more to do. We have 40 minutes. It's going to take a big time effort, but we can do it. And uh, we're going to do it. And uh, once we got to that game on Sunday, we knew it was going to be a big time atmosphere. Potential game winner right here. It's, it's like a surreal moment, honestly. We were all locked in. We were, we were all pretty pretty set and understood the, uh, the moment that was at our hands. With 16 seconds to play, tied at 54. Winner goes to the NCAA tournament. The loser checks into Heartbreak Hotel. Washburn way out front. He's got Ballantyne on him. Three to shoot it. West pulls up for two. It is gone. It is gone. He made the shot. Shot. 
I've said for a long time that it's the greatest sporting event of the calendar year. Even for me as our coach, as an assistant coach, I still remember walking out there the first time with the understanding that everyone in the country is going to be watching this today. As a little kid, you, you watch the tournament, you watch all those March Madness upsets, you watch the one shining moment. And that's what you dream about. It's, you want to be in that video. You want to be uh, standing on that stage with your group of guys. This is the best group of guys I could ever ask for to be my senior year. Everybody's unselfish, everybody just wants to win, and you see everybody cheer when anybody makes a big play or if somebody makes a mistake, everybody's got each other's back, and you couldn't ask for anything more as a senior.